So what are cookies? This is a cookie, this is a delicious cookie, but this isn't the cookie I'm talking about, despite the fact I'm gonna enjoy a bit of this cookie while we're talking. So, browser cookies are small pieces of information that a website will ask the browser to store. And the reason for this is because HTTP is a stateless protocol. So the HTTP protocol from request to request does not allow you necessarily to send along a lot of extra information. So once I log in, the question is, how does my browser still know that I'm logged in? So let me give you an example. So here I am, this is my internet class website, um, and I'm gonna log in. So I'm gonna go here, and now I'm gonna go through the login process, and it's going to take me here. So now the question is, when I refresh this page, how does the site know that I'm still logged in? So I can do that, you know, I can make another request. And the question is, why don't I have to authenticate for every request I'm making? Well, the reason for this is because the uh, website has put a small amount of information on my computer. And every time I make a request to that site, this little piece of information or cookie gets sent along and that's how the browser knows it's me. Oh, sorry, that's not how the browser knows it's me, that's how the server knows it's me. So every time I make a request, I'm sending along a little piece of information called a cookie. The server looks at it, determines that I'm still logged in, and sends me to my home page. Um, so let's look at these cookies. Um, on Chrome, you can do this by going to Preferences, um, Settings, you go all the way to bottom, hit Advanced Settings, Privacy, let me zoom in a little bit, Content Settings, and then clicking on All Cookies and Site Data. So let's, and, and there's quite a bit of stuff here. I mean, if you uh, go to this tab, you will probably be pretty surprised at all of the little traces that the websites that you visit have left on your computer. But let's look for the specific one that's being used to authenticate me to the internetclass.org website. So www.internet, um, and here it is. So it's showing me that it's stored one cookie. Um, I love that these are called cookies. And the cookie has some, and you can actually see what the information um, is inside the cookie. So let me zoom in a little bit here. Um, this is the content, and I suspect this content is encrypted in some way. Um, the domain, so this cookie is, was sent, it was set by www.internetclass.org. Um, and I send this cookie along when I make any kind of connection to this particular website. So every time I make a connection to the website, the browser will send along this little piece of information. Um, and it says when it was created, it was created on October 24th, and it says it expires when the browsing session ends. Now in this case, that actually doesn't mean that I'm not gonna be logged out till my browsing session ends. What it means is that um, this, um, this cookie probably has some information about a timestamp in it, so probably at some point it'll ask me to log in again. Um, so, you know, a minute ago this cookie wasn't there, and in fact, I can show you what happens. So if I go over here uh, and refresh the page, I'm still, the, the, the site still knows I'm logged in, because when I made the request, the cookie was sent along, the cookie has information that the site used to figure it out, oh, it's still me, um, and it rendered that page. Now if I remove this cookie, um, let's say remove, then what's gonna happen here is that I'm no longer logged in. So the next time I refresh the page, I'm being sent to this site that will ask me to log in. If I logged in, it would place the cookie again, and then future requests would use that cookie to determine uh, what I'm, uh, that I'm logged in. Now cookies can be used for all sorts of different things. This is a pretty benign use of cookies. The cookies that are being sent are only being exchanged with one website and they're used for authentication. But cookies are frequently used to track users. Sometimes that tracking can be performed across multiple different websites. And so at some point in the past few years, the European Union actually put into place some rules that now require websites to identify when they're using cookies. And also, there, I think there's some rules about what cookies can be used for because authentication-based cookies and cookies that establish sessions with particular websites are, are pretty benign. That's a very, very typical use of those. But cookies that are set to try to track people as they go from site to site to site, it's a little bit different. You know, when I go to a website, I expect that that website knows what I'm doing with it, but I don't necessarily expect that that website has access to information about my browsing history that it might 
uh, depending on which cookies on the particular um, particular browser it has access to. So this is, um, you know, again, so the idea here is that HTTP is a stateless protocol. In order to identify users across multiple requests, I have to use a small amount of information that's stored by the browser. We refer to this information as cookies. In some cases, cookies can also be used to store even more data. For example, some sites use cookies to store shopping carts. So you might have wondered on Amazon, how do, how, before I log in, how does it know what's in my shopping cart? It might be using cookies to do something like that. So very common uh, way to store information, a little bit of information in the browser, so that I can identify the client across multiple requests to the server. 